In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in the heart that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you through our Lord Jesus Christ, his Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, O my people, I will open your graves and have your eyes from them and bring you back to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and have your eyes from them, O my people. I will put my spirit in you that you may live, and I will send you upon your land. Thus you shall know that I am the Lord. I have promised and I will do it, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mm -hmm.
Spirit of God dwells in you. Whoever does not have the Spirit of Christ does not belong to him. But if Christ is in you, although the body is dead because of sin, the Spirit is alive because of righteousness. If the Spirit of the one who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, the one who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his Spirit dwelling in you. The word of the Lord. Almighty we give grace to proclaim his word in the name of the Father, Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. King of the Spirit. Glory to you, Lord. The sisters of Lazarus sent word to Jesus, saying, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus was Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was ill, he remained for two days in the place where he was. Then after this, he said to his disciples, Let us go back to Judea. When Jesus arrived, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went to meet him. But Mary said at home, Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have gone. But even now I know that whatever you ask, for God, he will give you. Jesus said to her, Your brother will rise. Martha said, I know he will rise in the resurrection of the last day. Jesus told her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, even if he dies, will live. And everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Do you believe that? She said, she said to him, Yes, Lord. I have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, the one who is coming into the world. He began her to and did the cross go and said, Where are you going? They said to him, Sir, come and see. Then Jesus went. So the Jews said, See how you are coming. But some of them said, Could not the one who opened the eyes of the blind man have done something so that this man would not have died. So Jesus, pursued the man, came to the tomb. It was a cave, 
And as Tom laid across, Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the dead man's sister, said to him, Lord, by now there will be a stench. He has been dead for four days. But Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. Then Jesus, raising his eyes, said, Father, I thank you for your healing. I know that you will always be with me, but because of the crowd here, I have said this, that they may believe that you sent me. And when he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, tied hands and foot with very bad bands, and his face was wet to the blood. So Jesus said to them, Can you come and tie him and let him go? Now many of the Jews who was, had come to Mary and see what he had done became eerie with him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise be the Lord Jesus Christ. A friend of mine living in Long Island was sick and called me to come and pray for him three weeks ago. I've not been to his house before, so I asked him for address. He gave me the address. I put it up in my GPS and drove to Long Island. A minute to the to my destination, my GPS said, you have reached your destination on the right. And I look on the right, what do I see? Cemetery. I told my GPS, no, this is not my destination. Cemetery is not my destination. But that GPS reminds me of something very important today from the gospel reading, that death is a necessary end that will come when it will come. As the saying goes, to be born is to die. The gospel in reminds us of the death of Lazarus and reminds us that each one of us will one day die. And we're in a, a pandemic situation at this moment. The coronavirus has put fears in everybody. Churches are closed. Vaticans are shut down. Con a country from one country to another country are shut down, and everybody is required to be indoor. It's not because we're afraid of death, but the coronavirus is reminding us death is close to each one of us. We are prepared. We, we stock food, we bought medicines, we bought everything. All these are for our spirit, our body. How about our spiritual life? Are we prepared? Jesus said today, I am the resurrection and dead. Whoever believes in me, even if we die, we live and live forever. There's one thing I want each one of us to know. All of us will die. When? Nobody knows. How? Nobody knows. Will it come? Yes. We need to be prepared. The joy of the gospel reading of today is death has no power over us. Death gives us a better life. To die is to live, and we live in Christ. And that's why Christ is telling us, whoever believes in me will live forever. My message to you, every one of us, we should not give in to fear. Fear is not of God. All of us are living in fear about Jesus telling us today, trust in me, I am the life, the way. If you come to me, I will give you life. This moment is the moment of coming closer to God. This moment is the moment of being in prayer. This moment is the moment of we should reflect over 
our spiritual life and mend those things that are not in line and be close to God. Who knows who will survive? Who knows who will die? The news can be terrifying, but God is still alive. The anger of Mary may be our anger. Lord, if you are here, my brother will not die. These are the questions we're hearing every day. God, where are you? Why should they allow this virus to come? Why should the church be closed? Jesus told them, all these things will pass away. One thing remains, my kingdom. Are we working hard to be in God's kingdom? There's one thing Jesus did, I will encourage each one of us to do. When you heard that Lazarus died, he went to the house of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. This is the moment we should build a support system. This is the moment we should reach out to each one of us. This is the moment we should call our brothers and sisters, our brothers in Christ, ask, are you doing okay? How are you doing? And if we hear that somebody in our community died, we call the family members to console with them. Jesus went to the house of Martha to console with them. This is the moment we need to reach out. But one thing is very important. Don't give in to fear. Fear is not of God. Trust in God. Have faith in God. Believe that God is in charge of our life. God is reminding us, I'm still in charge. I'm in charge of the world. I'm in charge of your life. This moment is the moment of great lesson. Family coming together. Husband living in peace. This is the moment we need to turn back to God. All the time we have been pursuing things, now we have time to be close to God. May the coming of Jesus to the house of Lazarus remind us that we need to bring Jesus in our house and in our family. We continue to pray. We continue to pray for our parishioners of St. Fortunata, asking God to protect you, to guide you. We ask you to be safe. We keep you in our prayers and we ask you to keep us in your own prayers. Amen. I believe in one God, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, life from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made. God's objection with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Proud the faithful. No, yeah, I pray. Lord, hear our prayers. Responders and others who aid and protect our communities with their very lives, 
And for their families, let us pray to the Lord. Let us hear our prayers. For all who come to new life out of the earth and the spring, the farmers, gardeners, the migrant workers, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those who have died from the coronavirus, and for all who have died this past week, that they may be raised to new life in heaven, and that their loved ones may know comfort in their grief. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of this mass, we pray for all our parishioners that God will bless them, protect them, and keep them safe. We pray for our pastor, Father Jose that God will continue to protect him and keep him safe. We pray for our sisters, that God will save them and protect them. We have a special intention for African community of St. Fortunata, for the soul of Monsignor Patrick Osubo, for the soul of Joseph Ozioko, 13th anniversary remembrance, for the souls of Rosa and Antonio Sofo, Rosario and Santa Di Falco, Birthday Thanksgiving of Chiga on year, and for the special intention of the charismatic members, we pray to the Lord. God of abundant love, you free us from sin and death and raise us up to new life in you. Graciously hear and grant these our prayers according to your holy will. We make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Hear us, Almighty God, and have it instilled in your servant the teachings of the Christian faith. Graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to Lord our God. It is really right and just out there under salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, remaining eternal God through Christ our Lord. For as true man, he wept for Lazarus, his friend. And as eternal God raised him from the tomb, just as taking pity on the human race, he leads us by the sacred mysteries to new life. Through him, the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord of God, and the of your glory, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is who come in the name of the
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like you fall, so that they may become for us the bath and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Through him and with him and with him, O Lord Almighty God, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, without to say, Our Father, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold, he who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But those who say the word, my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please. On behalf of Father Hosea, the pastor, we want to remind all our parishioners that next Sunday is Palm Sunday there will be a distribution of palms in front of the church from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. For your own safety, come with your gloves. If you are, not, if you are scared, come with your gloves and your mask. The, the priest will be in front of the church to give out the palms, which you will keep in your house or in your car. Remember, the church is closed. The building is closed, but you are the church. You are not close. Keep up the faith. We are praying for you. Pray for us too. Remember, you can still give up the offering by sending it to our door or posting it. We are keeping you in prayer. It will come and pass away. The Lord be with you. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. Bless, O oh Lord, your people who long for the gifts of your mercy and grant that worth at your prompting the desire they may receive by your generous gifts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Have a beautiful week. Johnny Flett.